All right, guys, turn the camera off and then turn it right back on because same rods, same baits at Lake Chickamauga Toyota Series. We're here at Bugs Island, Virginia, getting ready for the Bassmaster Open, but I figured I'd recap uh, last week at Chickamauga, finished up 13th, I think. I think 13th, somewhere around there. Uh, but it was a great week again. There was, I think, around 220, 230 boats. So um, it was jam-packed, as always, on the TVA. Uh, Chickamauga, again, is a shallow largemouth fishery. So fishing as a co-angler, it's, it's pretty tough most of the time. Not fishing for a whole lot of bites. Uh, keeper size limit there is 15 inch on largemouth and 12 inch on spots. So finding keeper bites is crucial and only got a couple of them a day, but was able to capitalize on them. Uh, so gonna kind of run through what I did. Pretty much the same deal as Kentucky Lake if y'all watch that one. But uh, first deal for Lake Chickamauga. First day, uh, we stayed in pretty much one spot the whole day. It was a bar with grass. Kind of just one of those typical areas where you'd see uh, fish pulling up to spawn. You know, they would stage there and then fish coming out post spawn. Uh, you know, kind of where they would go right after they're done spawning. It was right right outside a very good, you know, spawning pocket, shallow area with the reeds. So it just made sense. And uh, we pulled up there in the morning. The water was real, real clean. Um, so as you know, how to break out the spinning rod, finesse him up a little bit. And thankfully he was, he was up there, you know, kind of, kind of moving fast, which is, is good for me, uh, you know, covering water with a moving bait in the morning. So I was able to pick off a limit, I think by 11 o'clock or 12. There's one big one. Three. That's good. Yeah, about three. Thanks, sir. that uh, I had four fish real quick and then lost my fifth keeper and then fished for a couple hours and finally put it in the boat and that was a long day we fished till five o'clock and after that afternoon about everything just kind of died in that area but in some areas you could see almost see the the hydrilla growing up to the surface so uh, I was able to throw a weightless wacky rig uh, over this similar to like pretty much the same thing as what I did on the Potomac when I won that Toyota series and uh, it's it really painful to fish honestly like once I got my limit I just put it down and, and started throwing you know something else because it, it is not fun to do um, but it, it gets the keeper bites it gets bites and, and that's really all that matters um, but I was essentially sinking this sinking this wacky rig down there and just pulling it through the grass and just how you would have like a lipless crankbait or a chatterbait kind of you know rip it through the grass and get that reaction bite is the same thing that I was doing with this you know it, it, I'd rip it out of the grass and they would see it especially because the water was so clean they would see it they would watch it fall down and you know that's how I was able to get get my bites but that I had think I had 11 something pounds lots of two pound fish in that area um, but that was kind of all all that I did on day one and then uh second day Second day was doing a similar thing, just beating the bank, but we covered a lot more water. Um, I got to fish with Chandler Brewer, uh, which is actually, he was really cool. He's like my age and uh, he fishes around there a lot. So, uh, you know, we were able to hit a couple key areas and I think he had up, ended up having like 10 pounds. And then I only had three keepers, um, which bumped me down a lot. I think, I think 
I was in 16th going into the last day. But uh, pretty much doing the same thing. We caught, I caught way more fish that day, just not as many keepers. Might be a keeper. Yeah. But when we're covering that water, uh, put a nail into the front end, just fish it as a Nico rig. And that's how I caught um, those three keepers. They were real small. I mean, that, that, was, that was pretty much it. Uh, just was pitching it to targets. Uh, this time of year, a lot of times when we're fishing the bank, I'll kind of just visualize, uh, you know, areas where you, you could see a, a largemouth spawning. Uh, because a lot of times when that water's dirty, they are spawning up there. You just can't see them, especially with the fluctuating water levels. Um, it came up quite a bit that week when we were there and the water warm, or sorry, cooled down. Um, but a lot of those fish were spawning just out, out of sight. So uh, that's pretty much the deal for that day. And then the second day, or I'm sorry, the third day, fishing real slow. Uh, my boaters pretty much doing the same thing I was. And uh, as a co-angler, that's pretty hard to do so uh, I figured if I was in 16th place you know I threw around a big swim bait for quite a bit uh, and didn't work out so picked up the wacky rig coming towards the end of the day and was able to pick off a keeper <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The better one. Oh yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah, that'd be close. You can just set it set the neck over here. Skinny. Skinny little fifteen small keeper and then one that was almost four pounds um, just throwing a wacky rig fishing spawning pockets you know I think it was a mix of fish that were kind of coming in fish that were leaving fish that were spawning but the water was down so it kind of spread those you know it was coming up but it was still very low compared to when we were there last year and so a lot of those fish were just spread out and you couldn't really predict where they're gonna be at I mean they would be right on the bank or they could be way off because it was just a big flat uh, so those fish could really spawn in, in any any depth range. Um, but that was real simple. I mean, it was real simple for Chickamauga. And that's the plan this week for Bugs Island. Just keeping it simple. Going to go out and practice tomorrow. Uh, kind of just to see the lake and the lay of the land. Um, never been here before. But looks kind of just like a Highland Reservoir type deal. But uh, looking forward to it. And that's my recap for Lake Chickamauga. 2023 Toyota series and uh yeah we'll see you guys in the next episode